Welcome back to Fix the Rust Bucket. I'm super excited. As you can see, we have the Rusty Krusty 88 Ford Bronco in the garage. This is going to be a complete teardown and rebuild of this truck. But first, let me get it back outside, power wash all the grime off of it, and then we can go over, look around the truck, and see what the problems are. All right, so with all the grime washed off the truck, we'll go ahead and do a walk around on the outside, look at the interior and under the hood on this truck and see what we've got. The truck, from what I can find, has not been on the road for the last seven years. The truck is 36 years old and it's showing it. There's a lot of broken parts, messed up parts, this grill broken. We're just gonna do a quick walk around of the exterior and the interior and we'll take a look at what we got. Some parts aren't too bad looking. Then we have other parts here. The typical or the normal spot you're going to find rust the door is crushed the roof actually has some damage done to it you can i don't know if you can see or not but there's bondo and possibly even fiberglass in there from i guess people trying to repair it over the years down here the rockers are shot they're just gone we'll get, get to the interior in a minute rear quarters are done the rear cap is not too bad. Somebody was sanding this with a disc sander and they did hit the cap, but I think we can repair that. It's not damaged to where it's unrepairable. Again, the glass is all good except for the front windshield. Down here in the back is the tailgate and like any other tailgate on these Broncos, the bottom of it is gone, rusted out. Looking down the right side of the truck, same thing. Rust around the wheel wells. When we get the cap off and start digging into the metal, we'll see how bad or how far in the rust went. Right side door's not too bad. A lot of patchwork. Bondo, the Bondo King got a hold of this truck. The rain, rain gutters here, rusted out. And the front fender's not too bad here. I'm sure we're going to find some rust underneath the chrome trim and then just dings and dents from over the years of the truck being used. Let's go to the interior. So for the interior, it has seen better days and its lifespan is over with. We are going to try and keep as many original parts as we can on the truck. If we can clean them up, repair them, whatever, we're going to keep them. The dash, we plan on keeping the dash original. We are going to change out gauges and switches and stuff. We'll see. Steering wheel is disgusting, covered in mold and grime. Seats are done. They're gonna get reupholstered. Our plan is to also keep the seats, the original seats in the truck. Rust everywhere. I just don't know how far the rust goes. The rockers and the floor pans on the outside here are shot. We'll lift up the seat on the other side. That one folds forwards. Now in one of my other videos, when we just went over this truck a while back, I was trying to find out if this cardboard was original or not, and it actually was original on these trucks. It still has the rubber mat on here. That's all going. We'll get that out, see how bad the rust is underneath of there. Tailgate, glass is good. Tailgate's rusted away and nothing works on it. Spare tire carrier is still there. Probably going to keep that original, keep that in there. And for over here on the passenger side, again, I really can't see. The mat's torn some. We'll have to get it completely torn out to see where the rust is. As for the back here in the back seat area, you could see the where the water was leaking in. It's probably been leaking in for years, many, many years. So we'll pull all this out. See what the floor looks like underneath it here. And the dirt. There's some rust right there. All right, so now let's take a look underneath the hood. And trust me, it gets worse as we go. Under the hood. It's just as ugly, if not uglier. Filthy dirty. 
junk everywhere. Now the engine we did find the drive line is original on the truck. This is the original 351 Windsor in it, not the Cleveland. So just a quick peek underneath the truck right here. Again, we're on the left side of the truck, driver's side. Rockers are gone. Kind of expected that. Floor pans are damaged. The frame itself has a lot of surface rust, but it doesn't seem to be too deep. And so far from what I've seen, I don't have any spots that are to the point of repairing the frame or having to replace the frame. Again, the drive line was original on the truck. We did verify that. Coming towards the back here. Again, just a lot of rust. A lot of filth and rust. But that's okay. Um, we got the rear drums on this. I would like to change it over to four wheel disc brakes all the way around. But we'll see as we go along. All right, so with that look around, that's about as deep as I've even gotten into looking at this truck. So I really, at this point, still don't know what we can repair or what's gonna to need to be replaced on it. We are gonna go old school with the truck. And when I say old school, I'm talking about the lift kit, big tires on it. I'm looking, we're probably gonna do either a four, possibly a six inch lift kit, suspension lift only, not a body lift on it, to squeeze in either 33s or 35s, 30, somewhere in that area of the tires tight into the wheel wells. If you want to follow along with this project, don't forget, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. So I'm going to start off with saving all the glass on the truck. Um, like I said, the front windshield is the only thing broken that has to be replaced. The rest of the glass is still good. Right now we're here on the back side of the truck on the tailgate. Oof. The tailgate. We're going to go ahead and pull the tailgate glass out, get that to the side, remove the tailgate, and move on to the hard top and hard top glass. All right, so normally on these trucks, there's Phillips head screws, uh, 10 of them that hold this access plate on top of your tailgate here. This, the screws were missing already, so we don't have to worry about those. Get that out of the way. I'm not concerned about the inner parts of the tailgate at this moment. I just want to get the glass out and keep the glass in a safe spot. If we were to be removing the inner parts, then it would be removing this piece, and then you can get your tracks and everything else up and out of the tailgate so to get the window out itself you can't see in this shot but right underneath of this plate there's an 11 11 millimeter bolt here and an 11 millimeter bolt here there's two more identical to it on the other side and i'll show you in a minute but i'm going to go ahead and take this plate off anyway just so you guys can see where the bolt goes Again, that's just a Phillips head screw as well. And this flips out, a little tab that holds it into the top of the tailgate. Now here's the two 11 millimeter bolts. Now on this side as well, for this truck, you have the defrost wire. It's already broken free from the window. So we don't have to worry about that. The zip tie that holds it on. Just gonna cut it, get it out of the way. That's out of the way. Now we can go ahead and loosen up these two bolts and we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. So over here on the right side, right rear side of the truck, Ford was gracious enough to not make this a removable panel. So you can reach in, same thing, 11 millimeter wrench, or if you have a ratcheting wrench. This tailgate is garbage. I could drill this out, but to show you how to do it, if you didn't have a bad tailgate, we'll do it that way. But same thing, just gonna loosen them, loosen the nuts up and take them completely off. All right, so again, the same thing on the other side that you weren't able to see, bolts go through both sides of the clamp. You just take and push the clamp down, freeing up the top side here and the bottom side. And that frees up your window. All right, so with those two clamps on the track loosened up and removed from the glass. I gotta be careful about doing this so we don't shatter the glass. 
long back side here. Show you in a minute. So along the front and back, you have the seal for the window. The weather stripping, basically. This one here, it's old. They'll come up and slip up. Better shot there. You see where it's loose and it slips up. This one is stuck. Pretty much stuck to everything on the truck. So I'm going to just carefully go across it, break the seal between the metal and that rubber seal. So with the glass out, we're going to go ahead and just get the tailgate off. The tailgate cable over here is still attached. The one on that side is broken, but I'm going to leave that on there for now. We're going to remove the bolts on the back side of the tailgate. Then we'll remove this and pull this out. I'm working my way up to get to the cap, and we're going to work on the cap and the glass on the cap. Or the hard top. Ow. First tetanus shot. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, hang on a minute. Get some persuasion in on this one. I don't expect any of this to come apart easy. One plug apart. There we go. All right, so that separates most of the wires. All right, so with these two plugs removed, there's one more wire, which is your ground wire, which is a mess to see in here, but there's a ground wire still connected to the body part of the truck. Untangle the wires. And as you can see now, that's loosened up the wiring harness from the body down through and into the tailgate here. So now we'll just start feeding it through backwards and pull that out. There gets our entire tailgate harness out. So with the wiring harness removed, we really there's only two things left. There's normally two of these cables. The other one on the right side is broken. So the left side is the only one we have to remove. And then over on this side, there is a tension bar that is spring-loaded inside the tailgate. That, got to be careful. I don't want to lose my fingers on it. That's going to snap as soon as we disconnect this cable here. 
but that will remove and disconnect the tailgate from the truck. So that's going to make some noise. We're going to stay away from it and we're going to try and just disconnect this cable over here. Put some, take some pressure off the cable. Just undo the screw. Now over here on the right side is that spring loaded bar and I'm going to do it best I can to take as much tension as I can off of it without snapping it and there you go with that get this tailgate off and out of the way so with the tailgate removed I'm going to go ahead and start working on the hard top now but before I even unbolt the hard top from the body I'm going to go ahead and remove the glass from both sides of the truck. That way, one, I lessen the chance of breaking the glass. Two, it'll lighten up the weight of the shell to take it out of here. So let's get to that. So to remove these windows, they're, it's fairly simple. It's this rubber seal right here that just basically is a lip. It holds it on all the way around the, the cap. It has to go to the outside of the vehicle when you remove it. So you do have to be careful that you don't push too hard one twisting the glass and it popping or you push too hard and the whole thing comes out and drops it'd be better with two people my son's not here right now we're going to go ahead and do it on our own so to start we're just going to work in the corner here we're going to work on getting this lip pushed up and loosen up the window the best we can start here on the corner push the window out hopefully without breaking it you can hear the seal giving and we're just slowly very slowly very carefully work the seal behind the lip of the cap, the hard top. And all the way around. Alright, so I've left just a little off camera right here, but right where my hand's at, there's about four inches of the rubber seal still holding on to the inside of the truck. I'm gonna leave that the way that is. Come back over here, work this corner off a little bit, and then we'll go from there, go outside, see if we can get it to pull out. The in corner's hooked up again. We can do that from here. There we go. <clears throat> so just carefully, basically wiggle it. Take your time coming out. And there you go. We'll leave the rubber seal. Again, we're going to replace all these seals, but I'm going to leave the rubber seal on this window just to protect the edges for now.
Get a good grip. Lift up out of the corner over here, which you can't see. Once you get a good grip, just twist it and pull it out of the corner, this curved corner on the bottom and the sharp 90 up top. And it'll come slide right on out. So with the windows removed, now I'm ready to go ahead and remove the hard top from it. There are original bolt holes for where this truck, where the cap was bolted to the truck and across the top here in the front, there was three. Those three are not even in there anymore. And it looks like somebody used aftermarket Allen screws, three on this side and there's three on that side. We'll take a look and see what they did once we get them out. Now this here, for the jack, we can get rid of that. And take the screws out, get the top off, and see what it looks like. That covers all those. Get this out of the way. Why not while we're there? The rubber seal. The inside trim seal basically. Let's see if we can knock this loose from the truck. Oh goodness, yes. Rubber seal and the two metal trim pieces removed from here will get moving forward now with the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna start with the, and here with the spare tire mount. Get that out. remove the seat it's just these pins it's almost like a trailer hitch pin on here just pop them out and the seat will come out pull that pin same thing with this side this pin comes out wiggle the seat and you got pins like these on both sides Just like that, I say it's easy. There, that one's out.
Let's take the last one. Now, I'm going to keep the panels. I'm not gonna just toss them and throw them out yet because we can use them as templates. They're already cut to the wheel well and to the inner skin. So they will eventually go in the trash, but they are going to be saved until we make our new panels. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can get this mat out of the truck and see what the condition of the floor is going to look like underneath. Now, this is filthy dirty. Tons of moisture in it. Oh, yeah, soaking wet moisture. Oh yeah, look at all that rust. This mat. cap for this side completely missing it's not on there dirty underneath the metal rails here that hold the side panel trim on they're rusted out but we'll take a look it looks like they can be cleaned up and redone armrest pieces same thing same thing on the other side here probably just clean that rust up repaint those parts now, I haven't dug too far into the fender itself, but overall, the top of the fender right now is looking pretty clean, rust-free. That's good. Same thing on the other side. It's looking pretty clean and rust-free. What is not looking rust free is the driver's side here. Driver's side's got some heavy rust. Uh, wheel well, the inner wheel well fender is gone. Down here on the floor where the fender meets is gone. The floor itself, some pretty heavy rust here. We'll get underneath and see how far down or how far through it goes. As for up here behind the driver's seat, now we already know the rockers are horrible up here. Um, for now, what we can see in the corners on the inside is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Over here on the right side of the truck, same thing, rust on the inner wheel well, it's shot. There you go. It's gone. Down here at the lower part, gone as well. We'll have to look behind here. But the bed area is not as bad on top. Now, getting to the back. Rust in this corner. Expected that. Across the back itself, not too bad. Heavy rust, even all right through here. Pretty heavy. We allow well, some. That's what we got right now. Along the center of the roof line here, it's not too bad rust wise. There is where the roof comes down and starts being this quarter panel on both sides. There's rust. But overall, it's not too bad considering how old it is. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I was hoping to get to the front interior, get that torn out, but that's gonna be in the next video. That was quite a bit. I have a lot of trash to clean up. 
my tools to put away, and inventory of the parts that we're going to be saving. We have a lot more to come with this Bronco. It's going to be, like I said earlier in the video, it's going to be a complete rebuild. So consider subscribing right here. Give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, check out some of my other videos.